Good morning, everyone. So after I peel myself out of bed, I go and get coffee. This is a Sunday morning, what I eat in a day, and I like to treat myself to going and getting coffee somewhere other than my kitchen. Then once I'm done with my coffee, I go up into the hills and I do my fasted cardio. So I do have my coffee before my fasted cardio, but that's it. I like to do cardio on an empty stomach. It's just a personal preference. And I do have a video all on what I do up in the hills, so I will put that down below. Then when I come home, I mix myself up a BCAA. This flavor I have is snow cone, it's so good. Basically all BCAA is, I saw I got a lot of comments about it, is that this will help you recover. If there's someone that gets sore, this helps with muscle soreness. You could take it before or after the gym, but it's not something that's going to make you have muscles or make you lose weight, nothing like that. Then me and my little co-pilot Wyatt go upstairs to edit videos and answer emails and I always have yogurt as a snack. Sometimes after working out I'm not hungry right away so this is like a great like ooh I'm not hungry for my big meal yet but I'm like getting sort of hungry. And then we're such little stinkers. We smell Jared making food and we're like, ooh, omelets. So he always makes omelets with the egg beaters, onions, tomatoes, feta cheese, and then all sorts of seasonings. I honestly don't know what he does, but it always comes out amazing and we love to have fruit on the side. So then we went to one of my favorite little cafes. Our meal prep wasn't ready, so we were like, you know what, why not? Let's just go. And I got a Thai chicken peanut salad with pear in it. It was so good. Wait, can you say pears? Pears doesn't seem like a plural word, but yeah, okay. So it had some fruit in it. And then we went home and finished our meal prep. So these are the two cookbooks that I use the most frequently. I love them. I love having a cookbook. My biggest tip for you guys, if you're going to be making your own food, invest in a cookbook. They're so simple. The recipe that I'm making is from the Your Tea. Well, actually that's Jared making it, but I filmed it. So it's kind of like I was making it. It's from the Your Tea Liver Cleanse book. And basically what a liver cleanse says to do is that when you're eating on a liver cleanse, especially for your skin, like what I was doing, you need to rid the sugar out of your diet. Another good thing about ridding the sugar out of your diet is it helps with body fat. So what we're making is this pumpkin curry dish. It only has rice and curry and veggies and stuff. So there's no meat in it if you're vegetarian or vegan. This is a great recipe. So we were cooking all day. We kind of made a bunch of different things, but this is what I had for dinner that night. So we split it. I think we should have doubled the portion sizes because we wanted this to be for the week, like a meal prep, but it was only enough for the both of us to have for dinner. So if you're planning on making a meal prep out of it, double the size. And then we sat on the couch and watched TV. We made these yogurt pop things. They were so good. I got these molds in my FabFitFun summer box and we used yogurt, protein powder, and coffee. And you just make them the night before and then you put them in the freezer and you get these yogurt pops. The great thing about them is you can make them low sugar or you can make them fruit. We tried it with watermelon and strawberries and lemon juice. You can get really creative, but my point is you can still have sweets without having a lot of sugar. You just have to get creative. So I will see you guys tomorrow in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.